I'm going to tell you a very interesting topic that is related to the three-dimensional shapes. 3D stands for three-dimensional, the shapes having the length, width and the height. And we will see how many faces, edges and vertices of, the, uh, of those three-dimensional shapes have. So before that, you should know about what are faces, edges and vertices of the 3D shapes. So let's see. Faces refer to the flat surfaces of the 3D shapes. Edges are the lines where the two faces meet each other. And vertices are the corners where the edges meet. Now these definitions are just for your information. But you will understand it well when you are given with a certain shape. So let's have the, have the different and the most common 3D shapes. And we will see how many faces, edges and vertices these shapes have. So first of all we have the first 3 dimensional shape that is cube. This is a three dimensional shape because it has length and width and height. First faces in a cube are the flat surfaces. Which flat surfaces? If I mention them by using the green color, as I have written faces in green color at the top, so I will tell you in green. So this is one face of the cube. Another face of the cube is this one. This is a flat surface. Another face of the cube is this one. This is another flat surface. So, 1, 2, 3. These are the three faces that we can see from the front. And same in a, same, in a similar manner, there are three more faces that are at the back. That is the opposite faces of these three faces that are making up this cube. So, it means that the cube has six faces. Once again, these green faces are representing the single face. And the faces opposite to these faces are another one. So if we multiply these three faces with two, we will get six. So it means a cube has six faces. So F is equals to six. Then another thing is the edges. Now what are the edges? How many edges a cube has? Let's see. Edges represents the lines where two faces meet. Edges represents the lines in this cube. The lines where two faces meet. If I mark those lines, we can easily count them. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It means there are 12 edges in the cube. So, we have 12 edges. Then, we have the next thing is the vertices. How many vertices does a cube has? So, vertices are the basically corners where the edges meet so let's point out the corners here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it means a cube has 8 vertices so this is how you can identify faces edges and vertices in all three dimensional shapes Let's have another shape. Here we have another three-dimensional shape that is a sphere. A sphere have basically only one face. So we can say that the face in sphere is only one. So this is, this is the only face. If I represent it using a green color, this is the face of the sphere. So this is only one face in the sphere. Next thing is the edges, the straight lines in the sphere. There are no edges in, a, in the sphere. There are no straight lines in the sphere. It's a curved surface. So it has only one curved face and there is no straight or you can say straight faces or flat faces in the sphere. Then we have another thing is the vertices. Vertices are the corners. As this is a curved surface, there is no corner or no edge in the sphere. So it is also zero. Next is, next three dimensional shape is, the next three dimensional shape is the prism. So let's see how many faces a prism has. So how many flat, faces mean flat surfaces. So let's see what surfaces are at, that we can see and what we cannot see. So one face is this, another face is this that is opposite to this face. So these are two. Then we have one face is this. So there are three faces that I have mentioned. Now, one face is the face opposite to this face, which, which is the, this one, if I mention. So, total faces are four. And the last face is the bottom face, this face. If I use a different color for the bottom, this is the fifth face of the prism. So, it means there are total 
five flat surfaces in the prism. So F is equals to five. Then what are the edges? Let's see how many lines are there in the prism. So if I mention them as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in a prism, there are total nine edges. Then how many vertices a prism has? Let's see. Vertices are the corners. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So V is equals to six. So this is all about prism. Let's see what what is the next. Three dimensional shape. Three dimensional shape is a cylinder. So a cylinder, let's see how many faces does a cylinder has. So it has two flat faces. One is this and the other is this and one curved face. So we will not consider into the flat faces. So F is equals to two, two flat faces. Then how many edges does a cylinder has is two edges as the edges represents the two straight lines so these are the two edges or if i write here like this two edges then how many vertices does a cylinder has zero vertices keep this in mind a cylinder has no corners a cylinder has no corners but one curved face so keep this in your mind so the next shape that i'm going to discuss is cuboid cuboid differs from cube in terms that it's all the faces are rectangular in shape. So let's see how many faces does a cuboid have. It's just the same as the cube. So it's easier for us to identify that it has the same faces as that of the cube except that the faces are of are rectangular in shape. So we can easily write here that there are six faces and how many edges same to the cube as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. Same 12 edges. And how many vertices? Same 8 vertices. V is equals to 8. So cube and cuboid are, are exactly the same. Then what is the next shape we are going to discuss? Three dimensional figure is a cone. So let's see how many faces are there in the cone. In the cone we have one flat, flat surface and the one curved surface. Just like in cylinder, we have the flat as well as the curved surface. This is a flat face and another one is the curved face that is this one. So we are concerned with the flat face. So we have one flat one flat face and the other is the curved face. Then the next thing is the edges. How many edges are there in the cone? Edges represent the lines where two faces meet. So here we have only one edge. This one. So this is one. And finally, Let's see how many vertices or corners cone has. So a cone has only one vertex. So when it's one, we call it vertex. And we, when it's more than one, we call it vertices. So it has only one vertex. Now the last shape that I'm going to discuss is the pyramid. How many faces does a pyramid has? So I represent it from here. Start from here. This is the face one. This is the face two. This is the face three. And this is the face four. And the last face is at the bottom where all the faces are meeting like this is the fifth face. So this is the fifth face at the bottom. So there are total five faces in the cone. Then how then how many edges? The, the lines in the cone, the straight lines where two faces meet. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the total edges are eight. Then the last thing that we have to check here are the vertices. How many vertices or the corners are there in the in, in the pyramid? One, it's two, three, four, five. So there are five vertices in the pyramid. So this was all about the faces, edges and vertices of the 3D shape. That's all from today's lecture. Thank you.